<sighs> hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I have a unique problem that I'm hoping to use you guys, the network, to help me find a solution to this problem. And it's a tiny little part of a seemingly softerometer plastic, maybe a softer nylon. Anyway, let me show you what I'm talking about and um, maybe you guys will have an answer for what I'm looking for. Okay guys, here is the tiny little part in question. You see, uh, this, this one right here looks to be made of brass. This is an older version that is stainless steel. And basically, this helical screw fits onto the motor like so. So it's a motor coupler right there. And it's discolored, you can tell by the age. It's a little discolored. And if I give it a squeeze, you can see that I can physically deform it with my fingertips. So the piece is a softer type of plastic and it's supposed to fit on there kind of tightly. And this one here just kind of falls off because with age, what happens is this piece right here gets to be um, a little wallered out. I guess that's the only way to really say it. So here is a version that came off another pump I just seen in the back. And you can see what happens is the pump tries to drive it. And this one seems to be made out of a type of rubber. And you can see it's a real soft, it's, it's like it's devulcanizing uh, the rubber. And I know that these are two different variants because you can see one of them, this one over here is like a stainless steel. And it appears to have an acme thread, which is a thread that's got a flat face. Whereas the other one is a traditional V type gear. Um, so the thread pattern is more like a V on this one. And it uh, appears to be made out of brass. So this is almost definitely the newer version. And anyway, it's press fit onto the end of the helical gear. As you can see right here, it's got one flat face. That's it, just one flat and I assume it's just pressed on. You see right there, it's pressed on, it's kind of tight, um, but as they get old, it just wallers it right out and obviously the uh, durometer of the plastic changes. Now I'm just curious guys, how do you think this would um, do if it was maybe 3D printed? I know there's a variety of materials that are able to be 3D printed nowadays, um, it is a softer material. It doesn't necessarily need to be. This is a stepper motor which drives a, well, this gear right here, a worm drive gear, uh, which then goes to a spur gear, which then spins um, a ball screw, basically. So it's, it's very low torque, extremely low torque, which is why they can be that soft and, you know, barely fail. So this one right here, I don't want to put this one back on a pump. You can see its discoloration, how it goes light to dark. So um, I'm just curious, how do you guys propose we kind of solve this problem? I can pop this guy off. I can ship this to people. Maybe uh, somebody that's really good in plastics that can pour some molds. I don't know if, I doubt this would be a plastic injection molded piece. Um, it's really just a motor coupler. That's all it is. And older piece was kind of like a rubber something like that and all it does is it fits onto this little square nut that's on the shaft of the stepper motor right here so yeah so what do you guys think how should I uh, how should I solve this problem see the problem is is that when the OEM sells this part they sell it together and it costs like a hundred dollars and I don't think that that's a good option there has to be an option for coming up with another motor coupler because obviously over the years they themselves have used different materials so it has to be something that there's a little bit of flexibility in the the type of material that we're using I don't know guys I would really like some suggestions on maybe how to solve this problem um, like I said it's it's either a nylon or a softer um, type of plastic or it's a very it's a very stiff type of um, silicone or something. I, I don't really know, but it, it's very stiff. And uh, I would assume that it could just be made out of a regular piece of, uh, of uh, I don't know, something that's uh, 3D printed. 
Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. I would really like a solution because this is a very common problem with uh, some very uh, aging syringe pumps. <laughs> it's, this is the best way I could put it. Um, so it's, it's a problem that we have everywhere. I would rather just buy this part than this part. That's what I'm asking for. I want a replacement for that part. Thanks for watching, guys.